I am going to make a new coat hanger. Here it is right here, most of it. I put all this together off camera. I have some wood here that I had laying around. There is some wood over here that I have. Here's another piece of that, of that board. So I'm just using some scrap woods that I have. Down the center piece here is a piece of oak that I salvaged from a pallet. Again, it comes from this pile of scrap over here. And I put it on the sides as well, just to hide the, the side grain. But all of this here is a little bit proud, a little bit high as you can see. So my next step now is to, well, you can see here how, how proud it is, is to make this flush. I'm gonna do that using this router bit. It's a flush mounting router bit, and now I gotta go way over there, get my router, set it up, bring it on over here and do some routing. Well, let's see how that goes. Oh, there it is, I took the router down, sitting here on top of my table saw, use it as a bench as well. This router table right here, I found this while I was walking in the neighborhood, somebody was throwing it out. That had the old last summer. And well, well, I picked it up and here it is, just gave us some new life. And I'm all set here to, to make this cut. I'm gonna try and make that, go across that router bit, and hopefully yeah, we do all of this without losing any fingers. So let's go ahead and do this. Well, you know, it went pretty good. It's actually a pretty good tool bit I have here. So the, the board rode on top of this wheel on the top, and here's the actual cutting underneath it. And get some of that light on there so you can see how this, this bit here is set up. And, well, here's the work. You can see it's, it's very flush. I still got to, this is still proud, I got to do some planing on that one. But that's, that's pretty good. And over on the other side, same thing, you know, it's all flush. Flush mounting bit all the way around. This side here was easier to do. Now, so far, so good. You know, coming right along. Got to do some planing right now here. Get a hand plane, see if I can bring this down, make it flush. And this ought to be just about ready to, to be stained after it's all done because I'm going to probably wind up removing some of that stain as you, as you can see here. Now, off we go. So I went into my cabinets, I got out my Stanley plane. I've had this, oh, gotta be 30 years now. It's gonna need some, some cleaning. Only use this about once a year. But let's see if I can use this plane in order to shave off just a little bit of material from the top of this. I also found that this carpet under pad right here is very, very sticky and the, the part, and I get my thumb out of the way. The part here that doesn't actually move once I get on here and put some pressure on it. If this doesn't work, I'm going to try that first. And I'm going to have to go way over there and get my uh, workmate 300, pull that down, get all this stuff out of the way, snow blower, get it ready for winter. But try and take the easy route first and let's see if I can manage to rig something here and do some planing. So here's what I set up. I clamped the, uh, the under pad to my, well, my table saw, using it as a table with these clamps. So I got an edge here. I got a stop at the other end. Here's my piece. And use my plane very carefully. Find this through and you can see it's doing a pretty good job. Here are some of the shavings. So I can't hold the camera and do the planing at the same time, so I'm just going to have to do all of this off camera. Well, that required a little bit of work, but it's almost flush. Good enough, it's ready to go, but I need to do one more thing now, and then, well, I'm going to do some major sanding right here and get everything smooth with this belt sander that I have. 
And this is a perfect ta tabletop for this belt sanding because it doesn't move. Put it on here. Once I get some pressure on there, it sort of sticks. Well, let's go ahead and do some belt sanding. As it turns out, in the end, well, I, this was much too powerful for, for this little setup, so I had to take out the workmate and finish the job out here. Yeah, it's a little dusty, but everything is smooth, ready to go. I just have to finish off some hand sanding, and I'll be ready for stain. Well, I had to break down and uh, use my palm sander here in the end in order to get this good flush and clean. Now just a matter of cleaning it up, washing it a little bit, and it'll be ready for a stain. And here it is, all cleaned up, sanded. Took me one cup of coffee to do all of this. I uh, got the garage all cleaned up as well, everything put away. My uh, workmate is back where it belongs, my router is back where it belongs, all the other tools that I used are back in their cabinets, ready for the next project. This one, well, it's right now it's December 29th or so, 30th, and it's cold, so I'm going to have to do all of this in the house and get the wood acclimatized to the house first before I do any staining. All done. So I prepared the wood, put some masking tape down the centerpiece. I want to keep that one clear or light. And I've got some early American stain from, I don't know, hundred years ago or so, or the American. And I'm going to stain the outside of this and leave the, the strip down the middle clear or light colored. It's oak, so I'm just going to leave the regular oaks as well as the outside. And there we have it. All stained. Worked pretty good. Actually, it actually matches the original almost, if you look at it color-wise. This is the original side. Oh, I got some spots on there. And here is the front. Almost matches. Oh, turns out pretty good. Well, I got to deal with this little bit. Now let's take off the center tape and see what happens. Well, that's what happens. So this was a piece of oak, slightly light, lighter colored. I'm going to have to work on removing this tape. And there it is. So that is what I was looking for. Dark outside with a light inner, or inner strip. And here it is, the final product. A little bit of drilling, put it into the wall. You can see I made that center stripe in order to match all oh, that center stripe.